Every year it's the same. Every year is a misery. He sees you when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake. <laughs> Placing coal into stockings of his choosing, the many people who suffer at this time of year. How can such a man be allowed to do such things? Santa is coming to town and there's nothing I can do about it. But I can prepare. I'm going to be ready. Are you? Let's build the Santa detector. So for this festive project, you will need three 10KM resistors, two diodes, I'm using 1N5817s, two potentiometers, the value is not too important, any value between one and 10K should be sufficient, two 555 timers, one LM358 dual op-amp, one piezo element, a microphone of the Electrect type, one five volt buzzer, this is a piezo type, a photon relay shield, two particle photons, an Arduino Uno, a Raspberry Pi, a microphone connected to a USB sound card, five 100 nanofarad capacitors, a USB webcam, a speaker and supporting hardware for the Raspberry Pi, an ultrasonic range module, and some circuit construction material. I'm using strip board, but you could use breadboard or any other method you see fit. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me all the parts from DigiKey, link in the description below. So the Schemit schematic for this project comes in three parts. We have the motion detection system, which includes the Arduino Uno that's connected to an ultrasonic module, and the Raspberry Pi, as well as a USB webcam, a speaker, and a USB sound card. Now the alarm system is used to turn the bright lights on so we can take a picture of Santa Claus, but it also has a buzzer that is controlled by a relay that we buzz once every so often so that we can alert people around us that Santa Claus has been detected. Now the main circuitry for this project comes from the noise and impact detector. Now both of these circuits are almost identical except for the way that the element is driven. So for the noise detection, we have a simple electric microphone, which has a 10K pull-up, which is then passed through a 100 nanofarad capacitor for AC coupling. Now we use a diode here in reverse polarity to get rid of the negative voltages when the electric microphone output becomes a negative from the AC coupling. Now the LM358 is configured as an inverting comparator such that when the sound level reaches a certain volume, it triggers the 555 monostable, which gives us time for the photon to detect that something has been triggered on the microphone. Now the microphone in this case will be detecting the jingles from his sleigh. Now when the sleigh hits the roof, I will imagine there'd be some kind of impact and this is detected by a piezo disc which is mounted directly on the underside of the roof. Again, we have a diode in reverse bias mode such that any negative voltages produced by the piezo disc are removed and kept away from the lm 358 And again, the lm 358 here is configured as a comparator which triggers the 555 monostable which gives the photon time to react to any impacts. Now the particle photon that connects to the noise and impact sensors connects to Adafruit IO, and then as soon as any of the inputs has been detected, such as the noise or the impact, then that corresponding feed is set to true. Now the relay board's job is to turn the lights on and sound the buzzer, but it must only do this under certain conditions, which is that we have detected the voice, we have detected a microphone, and that we have detected an impact. Now in the main loop of code, all we do is go through each one of these feeds and check if they're true. But to make sure that we only sound the alarm when all of these events occur in a very close time to each other, because we don't want to turn the alarm on every time a, a pigeon has hit the roof, we use a simple timeout system. So if all three feeds end up being the same value within a certain time period, we can sound the alarm. Now the Raspberry Pi code isn't particularly complex, but it does build on all the other projects we've been working on this year. So for example, we use the camera in the same way as we did in the live camera project. So when something is detected by the ultrasonic module, the camera can take some photos. We also use the speech recognition system from the Posh Butler project so that we can determine when Santa Claus is nearby by his typical ho ho ho. 
And the Arduino code is very simple because all it needs to do is make some simple measurements from the trigger and the echo pin from the ultrasonic module to get the distance that is currently being monitored so that we can send this back to the Raspberry Pi so we can determine how far away an object is and therefore make a determination if we need to take a photograph. Now, just before we put the Santa detector into use, we're gonna have a quick look at the different parts that we've got here. So the first board that we have here is the detector board. And what this does is this is the circuit that connects to the piezo element and the electric microphone. We have the relay board here that hasn't got the main light put onto it yet because I'm going to talk about that as a separate thing. But we have put the buzzer on already, which is connected to the second relay. And the photon for that is also connected to the shield. Now here we have the Raspberry Pi system and you may notice that I've put a display on top. Now there's a rather strange thing that happens with Python or when you're using Pi game to capture from the camera. If the Pi is not connected to a screen or has some kind of HDMI output, then when you try and take data from a webcam, it tends to throw errors. I imagine it's because some kind of graphical library hasn't been called because there's no display. So your choice is to either connect the Raspberry Pi permanently to a display uh, using the HDMI port, or you can be a little sneaky and you can connect it to a display when it turns on, then you can disconnect the display and keep the Pi on and it thinks that there's still a display. So you can then use all the graphical routines. Now you'll also notice I've also got the Raspberry Pi connected to an Arduino Uno, which is also connected to the ultrasonic module. And I've got plenty of spare cable here so I can mount this on the roof or anywhere else I want to try and find Santa. So with all that out of the way, let's take a quick look at the relay shield. Now, in terms of lights, you've got lots of different options. You could use a, a low voltage 12 sort of volt LED panel, which would be quite safe to use, or you could go the dangerous route, which I wouldn't recommend, but that is to use mains electrics. Now, I could use some kind of, you know, simple bulb, but we're trying to catch sand here, so I don't think a small bulb is going to quite cut it. So if we go back to the Butler project, we could use a bulb like this, and that way we're guaranteed to get a picture of him. Now, a quick note on main safety. Just remember, if you're not competent or don't feel competent or have the technical skills, do not touch mains wiring as it's very dangerous. So, with all that out of the way, let's put it into use and catch the man. So now night has fallen, the decorations are all on, and we're ready to see if we can catch Santa. So it's night time in the cabin. We're gonna see if we can catch him. I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen though, to be honest. I'm just gonna have to sit here and wait. It's getting cold in here. It's about 11 o'clock, no sign of him yet. It's now Christmas day, it's about 1.30 in the morning. And I'm hoping that we're going to see him soon. What was that? So I just heard something from from the roof. Yeah, you aren't going to hear jingles. He's up there right now. But I can't do anything until that alarm goes off. I have to be sure. <laughs> That's him. It's game. It's game. It's game. Right, we're going to get him. 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 Where is he? Come on, where is he? Where is he? Come on, where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. I just heard him. What? How could there be nothing? The alarm just went off. We've got to check the footage. I'm sure we would have got him. I'm sure we would have got him. So I might not have been able to catch him, but hey, at least he didn't get to fill up my stocking this year of coal. Hang on. What? What? Eh? What's, what's that? I... Oh, no. How on... He's filled it with coal. Goodness sake. You've got the better of me again. Well, at least we got his photo. So I've just got the footage back from the webcam and I cannot believe what I found. I have found unequivocal evidence of Santa's existence. You see that red there? That is red material on my roof. 
Now, how on earth is that possible? If I just get this over here, have a look. There, nothing. There, something. That is Santa Claus. So that may not be quite what I was looking for this year, but I've got absolute proof that he exists and I will get you next year. Well, that's all we have time for today in this episode of The Gentleman Maker. Thanks for watching and see you next time.